on up here, you know, so that you can see the baptism a little bit better. But about the church itself, we have a lot of new visitors today, so we welcome you all. But really, it is all about, you know, Joe preached it, you know, it's all about accepting him within ourselves, you know, giving ourselves up 100%. Um, you know, I've been here a long time, um, and, and I enjoy the fact that I can look out into the crowd every Sunday, and there's people I do not know. And, and to me, that's an important part of our lives, is that we need to know more bodies. But the, the nice thing is, is that if we get to know you, all of a sudden, other people show up, you know? Um, you know, I remember when Brother Jerry started coming. You know, Brother Jerry started coming, and, and, and he said to me one day, he goes, I think I'm at home. <laughs> and, and that's kind of what we always feel. Our, we feel like when, when we find a place that we can literally feel like you're at home, it makes it a lot easier to come back and, and really enjoy. But what I don't want you to do is just sit on your own. Fair enough? Because to, to enjoy God, you need to participate. I asked the young lady in the back row, sing for me today. And she said, no, but Brother Joe asked her, and she sang our song. <laughs> you know, um, but you know what? That's, to me, that's our song. She said it, she sings it all the time, but you know what? She can sing it every Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what she sings about truly, truly, she <coughs> stood up, not because there's any reason for it except to be closer to Christ. Right. So those are why we do what we do here. Um, I like to think that we're not very church ease. You know, I think that we do try to keep God first. And to us, that's important. So, um, please, be, be joyful. Um, come on up. If you guys would love to come up and see the culture, it's not going to hurt. So if the family wants to, you can come on up and take a peek. Let me make sure my hair is just right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, Don't take no photos. I think it's been... Three weeks, maybe. That's not right. Two weeks ago on a Sunday morning, Miss Don and her aunt brought her up here. And uh, I said, What do you want? She said, I want to get saved and become a Christian. And I asked her if she believed in Jesus and she trusted the work he did on the cross. And she said, Yes. And I said, We'll talk to you soon about being baptized. And she, she didn't want to put it off. She didn't want to wait. She was ready. <laughs> I explained to her that more than anything else, baptism is a outward, an outward demonstration of an inward grace that happens when we see the Lord. And so she, she and anyone that gets baptized having already received the Lord, they go into the watery grave, the old person, okay. the old Hazel, and they raise up a newness of life, a new person, to demonstrate to everybody the spiritual change that's taken place within them. What a glorious thing. You want to say anything? Okay. Okay. She said, let's just get this over. We're going to pray. Our kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus to thank you for this dear, precious soul. And Lord, we pray that you bless her not only today, but in the days that lay ahead, Lord, that you give her full assurance of her faith as she goes forward. Faith that will see her through the temptations and trials that Satan no doubt will lay in her path. She comes obedient to your heavenly orders this morning, expressing her belief in the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And because of that, we baptize her in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And amen. Amen. amen.
Miss Hazel, I wish I could do a towel like that in my hair. I just wish I had hair. Can you come up here for a minute? You okay? Did you get warmed up a little bit? That's just about as cold as the creek was, that, that water was. They're proud of Miss Hazel. Can I have all the folks who want to join the church come up here as well this morning? What a glorious state church this is. You know, you are the way in your calendar. something in the church that makes them think this is where they want to come to worship, and they're willing to do more going forward, uh, being members of the church. So we thank you for that. We've met with all these folks and or personally witnessed their conversions, and so none of them will be transferring by way of letter. They'll all be transferring by way of testimony. Me and Miss Marcy, I met with them, and Miss Marcy were both satisfied with, the, with the, uh, their testimony they gave us of their conversion experience. So we offer them to you all by way of testimony. And I don't know if I'll ever have Another chance to recommend this many people, but I'd ask the people in the church and their members in the congregation to please stand. Amen. And I'm just going to offer them all to you wholesale. You heard your names. <laughs> and they've all expressed an interest in joining the church. And they all want to be members of the church. And that thrills my heart, should thrill your heart. Yeah. All those in favor of accepting all these wonderful folks as members of this same mission of Baptist Church can, can vote by sign and saying, I. 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 The folks, you can come up and pray with me. <laughs> so all these folks are now members of the church, and, I, I, and I've been trying working on a, a member handbook, and I will try and get that done in the days ahead, so I'm sure that we can. But thank you for expressing your confidence in what God's doing here. The church will love and support you, and we look for you to love and support the church. Now, we'll, uh, we'll just play music on the way out. You can come up and tell Miss Hazel and congratulate her on her baptism. You and all these folks know you're glad to have me in the church. Let me share this with you before we get started. Miss Lahoma here has some very serious allergies and she's not feeling well because she's messed up. So she's going to go back and sit down because it's not safe for her to, to uh, shake hands and stuff right now. But we understand that we love you, Miss Lahoma. We're glad to have you here. Let's all stand. Give us the verse of song, guys. We'll have Mr. Clinton come up with your own. We're glad to have you in the 